With this episode being called Ultra Soul slash Decisive Battle, I have a feeling this episode is going to have quite an impact to the story. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with the final two episodes of Season 3 of Don Machi. I am super excited. We are at, like, normal. sometimes with arcs and with stories, we come to the resolution or the climax at, like, Episode 10, and, and normally it's the last one, so this one might be the climax climax, where the last one's the resolution. I don't even know. Maybe even this one goes to a cliffhanger. I don't, I'm just so excited. We have Wiene, who ran into, is it Tione or Tiona? Tiona, and it's not looking too good in that situation. We have Haruhime and Bell trying to save her, and we also have Gareth with everyone else and Mikoto. We have Lily out there doing stuff. It really is just a chaotic battlefield out there. That's why I have no idea where this could go. I am just so ready for it. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead. Links are always available to you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it oh so much. Make sure to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so much. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 11, Ultra Soul slash Decisive Battle. <laughs> She's just hiding. Ooh, sewers maybe? Right? Tiona's kind of questioning. It had no aggressiveness, running away. Very interesting, very interesting. Invisible wealth in Makoto. Using all they can, and Gareth is still this nasty. Aww. Even the little girl and her cat are scared. Another situation where Wiene is going to save a small girl and yet look terrifying because of it. Even so, you still do it just like Bell would. You gotta love Wiene. I wonder what Tiona is going to think of this. Is it really that strong? That's true. Subaki, uh, Hephaestus is. Well, she's under the Hephaestus familia, too. Shout out, Hephaestus. Always appreciate you. And Subaki has nasty magic swords, too. She's one of the best, like, the blacksmiths around. I can't lie, that was awesome. That sword looks fucking disgusting. Not only is he alive, he's breaking out. Let's go, let's book it. He realized that she saved that girl. She knows. That's nice. Not everyone's as empathetic and compassionate as what you mean to say. They're all smart as you. They just a little more heartless. That's exactly how Argonaut started feeling. Tiona got like 20 cool points in my book for that. I, I really appreciate that. Yes. This is all happiness and love right now, but I don't think it's going to stay this way. Oh, it's Beite. Yeah, I noticed they pointed him out earlier while he was invisible, so I was like, I wonder if he could smell them or any other scent. I can't not hear Bakugo. I love it. <laughs> Deku! <laughs> I 
Ah. Uh, we're doing another Yojutsu, obviously. My girl Aisha's gonna get it. This is my wife, too. Hell yeah. It's gonna be eyes, isn't it? I can tell by his expression. This is actually crazy. I wonder how this is gonna play out. I get I get where eyes is coming from right there, but I also love that express look on her face. Ooh, Bell is not giving up when it comes to this. He's not backing down. And even though eyes, I feel like is a hundred percent determined determined in her goals, I don't think she has any hostility against Bell. I don't know if she'd kill him. Maybe she would. Bell is nasty. <laughs> nice. Break that ceiling above us. Bro, eyes is so nasty. With the gorilla with uh, Hestia. That's a throwback right there. Wow, I, I do love that perspective. Like he he definitely he definitely has gotten stronger, but it's not to the point where he can take care of all the problems on his own. Because that's how all the main characters would like, how, how strong they would all like to be. So they can fight on their own and protect all the ones that they love with no issues. He clearly cannot do that, so he's not to this point where he's satisfied yet. I love that because clearly he's gotten stronger. I said that just a second ago, but he said I'm still just as weak as I was. It's a nice little tidbit right there. See, I feel like if she truly wanted to kill him as fast as she could and get to Wiene, she would use Tempest and cut his arm off. I mean, she was handling Asterius. Come on. You know what I'm saying? No. She's going to go back, isn't she? Animation in the show is nasty. In a good way, obviously. Hestia is a very good person in this situation. Not telling her no, not telling her yes, just asking if she's ready, letting her know, you know, like, this is really needed right now. He's literally like a mother, you know, pretty much, because she's, she's the mother of the familia, you know? But damn, we lost our fire blade only on the Hestia knife. That was a great slash. He's still hesitating, though, you can tell. He doesn't want to hurt eyes, obviously. So do us. People kill people all the time. We kill them. They kill us. See, now I think she might take this seriously. She said, I'm going to cut you. She's See, she's saying, please. They don't want to do this to each other. Oh, 
I get her. So she says, fuck that. What you're saying? These claws will hurt people? I'll break them off. She's our resolve is insane. This resolve is more than you'd see on your average. Okay. What's up, eyes? What you got to say now? There's no way. Bleeding all over the street. Ripped her own wing off. Yeah, I bet you that took her by surprise. The resolve is crazy. Shouts out eyes, you know? I under completely understand why she felt like that, especially with her parents and stuff, but at least she was open-minded and willing to see the light in front of her, you know? Because that was truly some self-sacrifice from Wiene for someone she purely cared about. No malicious intent in that whatsoever. I might just walk him to the door just in case, you never know, you know? Appreciate that, guys. You can tell she's still very young, obviously, but she's maturing. She's learning. What? Are these notes what? They seem to have not take the water. They seem to drip the water right the hell out of them. I am super nervous and I oh I'm so pissed off about what happened at the end there because I was so happy I was like finally this was the climax some shit happened the eyes had a change of heart but of course I did say it I was like maybe they're gonna throw a cliffhanger and this will still have some shit to resolve which we definitely do so who knows where the next episode is gonna end and where we're gonna lead off into season four definitely have some notes I wanted to talk about first off Tiona got a lot of cool points in my in my book for not only just aggressively not for not not aggressive okay let me let me reword this she gets cool points in my book first off for not aggressively chasing Wiene when she saw her just running away there you could obviously tell she was like why are you running there's no there's nowhere you can run and she was just kind of playing around with it really reminded me of Nezuko in Demon Slayer when you know what that happens when she's running away something very similar to the situation so I love how she was able to witness her take the, I don't want to say take the kid, but save the kid's life and then let her go and save her. You know, I'm not sure many other people, people like Finn, people like Eyes until like Eyes would have easily killed Wiene until it, you saw how much it took to change her. But Eyes was also, Eyes was complicated in my opinion because she knew deep down what Bell said was right. And if these people or See, so yes, I said people. If these monsters had the same emotions as us, then obviously, you know, it's very complicated and it's a gray area and we shouldn't just relentlessly slaughter them. But what I has also said is correct. You know, Wiene has her little rampages. So it's, I definitely get why Eyes was, Eyes deep down knew it was, it was de definitely a lot more deep than this, but it took so much for her to actually get to the point where she couldn't tell herself to go through with it. There are a lot of people who know something's wrong and can force themselves to do it for the betterment of the people, for the betterment of society, whatever it may be. But it took Wiene breaking off her own fingertips and her fucking wing, gushing blood all over the street in order to, I don't want to say wake eyes up, but just knock some sense into her. 
So shouts out Tiona, shouts out Eyes, shouts out Subaki and Aisha coming in clutch. I Subaki, awesome. Not not to, or telling Wealth not to hold back against Gareth because he's a fucking maniac. So I agree that magic sword Gareth or uh, Wealth made was awesome. Subaki is clutch. She's also very hot. So that's that. But Aisha coming and saving Haruhime. I love their relationship so much. She even said my sister's fights are my fights. I love that so much. Aisha is my wife. Love the level boosting. I think it's so funny and ironic that Bete is voiced by Bakugo, but uses his feet like Deku. Like, like what? Like if Bakugo knew he had to voice a character that uses feet like Deku, he'd probably be pissed. That's just hilarious. If the character Bakugo knew that, not obviously the voice actor. I just think that's hilarious. <sighs> and shout out to someone in the comments. I always forget, and I'm so sorry, but uh, it was this was a, a little while ago who told me that one, there's another one of Wiene. It looks like a Vivwe, like like Wiene's species race in the Zenos, but that's a different one. It's like a Gorgon or whatever they said. But Wiene's red stone is actually a like an item that the the weave the vive ray however you say it their species carries along with them that can only be taken out and collected while they're alive that's why dicks did that and then it does cause them to go on a rampage that's why it's super rare to get i just thought that's a little tidbit that's interesting you know no that could be like a video game reference like i love difficult to get drops and super rare drops those one percenters you know you know it's just i, I love the little tidbits but fantastic episode curious to find out what happens next if you guys are as well you know please check out that patreon leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments make sure to subscribe if you guys currently are not i will see you in the next one peace out you guys